this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. Today I am on Lauren again, my lowest level character. Um, I haven't actually put a video out for a couple of weeks. Um, my fibro has been flaring very badly. Probably due to stress because the cost of living crisis over here is very real and very scary. Um, with everything, with our energy bills more than doubling and the cost of food increasing by sort of 25 to 30 percent, my fixed rate on my mortgage is also coming up. So I will be negotiating with the bank next week to try and get a fixed rate that I can actually afford to pay, which is going to be interesting. I have been considering doing another YouTube channel, which will be me in real life showing you my appallingly crappy house <laughs> and um, how I plan to do it up and some sort of a bit DIY, some crafting, how to survive the, um, the winter with pretty much no heating on. Um, I have a lot of hot water bottles. I don't know if I'm going to have the energy for it. Um, I am considering it at the moment. Um, it will give me something to do. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I might not be able to afford to put the Xbox on. <laughs> we'll see. So, all that aside. Today's build is something fairly simple. Um, I have not double walled it. I was going for a sort of 1920s style arts and crafts house. And um, so I thought I would uh, stick with this brick. I have got the new planter, which I tried to plant a mute fruit in and it said it was floating. So I decided to turn it into a flower bed. I have merged it into the foundation because it is considerably taller. Now this is simple, however there is a less simple way of doing this roof. I don't have a jetpack yet, I am working on that project. So this is a flame trap roof to create this innie. We do not have any roofs. I still do not know why we do not have innies, but we don't. So I kind of used some of the basic base sets from the game. This roof is a variant of the original roof set that was available in the Atom Store some time ago. But you could just use the basic um, roof. So we have an outdoor seating area. In here we have this little kind of porch area and my wallpaper's missing. It's not done this. It does this. I it does this. Whenever I'm recording, it knows, you know, it knows. We have a full workshop. And I remember to put tools on the tool bent on the tool board, <laughs> weapon support anyway. This time, um, it's not a large house. <laughs> it's not a TARDIS. It's kind of the opposite of a TARDIS. So we have this um, open plan kitchen, sitting room, dining room. Because it's quite dark in here with the curtains, I decided to put a skylight in. And I have been making use of Gram at Meat Week this year. Rather than having a limited inventory, Gram at Meat Week has all of Gram's plans. I mean, obviously, they change depending on which Gram you speak to, as Gram in the real world does. So this plan, uh, domestic tables, I think, or domestic kitchen tables, only has a 10% chance dro of dropping, and it's only available from Gram. Um, it took me six server hops to get that. So I have spent probably about 8,000 caps on plants from Graham and I think I've got all of them now. This is the bedroom. It is quite small. There is a dresser behind the door. But it has everything you need. And the bathroom... It's quite simple. 
Because I'm using a basic set that does not have a window in the half wall, I have put these glass panels in as triangles to just give a bit of natural light in here. And for those, unlike me, apparently, <laughs> who have a modesty problem, it means people can't see in when you're taking a bath. So, so let's get on with the build. Now, I will show you um, a way to do this roof very easily without a flamer trap, and I will also show you how to do it with a flamer trap. So I'm going to start with foundations. I do try normally to line these up with the road so that the house sits square against the, ro against the road. A little bit high. This section of the house is three by four. The workshop is two by two. And we're going to have a one, one square bathroom which goes on this part here. Now, this area can be a bit weedy. Um, I put tons of confetti under my original build, so I am building it slightly higher. I am using the in-game brick set. I used the double window for the house areas and the single window for the um, workshop, just to give it a little bit of difference, differentiate. We have this cutout here. Doorway here. I like the wood on these door frames. We have a window here. Windows in the front of the workshop. I use the single windows for the workshop. Now, you can double wall without a flamer trap. You can double wall the main walls just by using two doorways. So I'm going to do that on all the doorways. There is a window here and it will be a double. These are all plain walls. Obviously, if you wanted to double wall this, feel free. For the bathroom, you want three half walls, like so, and I'm using the um, greenhouse set, the kind of slightly grungy one, um, to just put these windows in here. Right, now we need to talk about roofs. I'm going to put some of these wall arches on here so I can get the roofs on this section. Now you can just use this roof. Um, the one I used in the video was a variant of this that was available in the Atom store. I think it was the first roof alternative we have, so it was quite early in the game. And it, it's not a lot different, to be honest. It's just darker. So we are going to put these roofs on like this. Um, we can put these on like so. That is the roof for that, but we will be continuing it along. Now, 
to get the roofs on here, these roofs go in a slightly different way. They go in the 90 degree. So we are going to put these on like so. And because roofs snap to each other, they will just snap like so. Now, we need to put triangular pieces in here. Now, if you're not double walling, a triangular piece because you don't have a friend who can PvP with you. Always put the wallpaper side in the biggest room because it will be more noticeable. If you're not going to double wall this side, leave the brick on the smallest room because people don't tend to look up when they're right under a doorway. But if somebody comes into the room and they're across the they'll see that it's brick that you haven't double walled. Obviously, if you want to double wall, that is fine, double wall. But you will need a flamethrower tra flame trap. Or, that's not wrong, <laughs> that needs to be a half. You will need a flamethrower trap or someone to get into PvP with you and then destroy it. I put a pillar in here. Um, you can do it with a ladder and a floor. I did it using this blueprint. Now I will quickly show you how to do it if you haven't seen it. I got this from Aquanova. Snap a pillar down onto a floor, add another pillar. It only works with two pillars but you can remove the top one if you do not need it. Get a power connector. Put it as close as you can. Then blueprint the power connector and both pillars. Then you want to line it up in the corner. If you can't see where this corner is, just change the floors to something like that. So you can now see where the corner is. Now, this will not go in because the roof is on. So take the roof off. You can also flatten the roof if you are using a set that has a flat piece there. Put the pillar down. Remove the power conduit and the top pillar. Put the roof back on. There we go. Get rid of this. And quickly change these floors while I'm here. And I think I did the kitchen as well. I can't remember <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> right. Oh, I got a floating. Now, if you want the simple roof, all you need to do is add more roofs like this and then just fill in with halves and triangles. Come on, go in. If you can't get that one in for whatever reason, take that roof off. Is it because I... No, it's the right one. Oh, for goodness sake. You're being a giant pain in the butt. Does help. I was trying to do it the wrong way. It's me. 
It's me. I think. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So this is the basic house. And it looks absolutely fine. I mean, if you know anything about architecture, you know that you don't really want that like that because that will fill with water. So, and we have no any, but I will show you how we can make one if you have a flamer trap. So I'm quickly going to show you how to do the alternative roof. You will need a flamer trap. And if you don't have a flamer trap, either do the quest. <laughs> it's not that difficult. I've done it four times. Um, or you can get into PvP with a friend and then they can destroy parts of your camp. You need a flamer trap and a portable toilet. What we are going to be doing is destroying some of these roofs. Now I'm going to take this one off and this one. As I'm flamer trapping, I am going to actually double wall these triangles. Before we do that, I am going to do a little bit of prep work. I'm taking this one and this one off. There is a gap in the roofs when they overlap and one of these triangular pieces should fit in, but it won't go. So I am going to turn this into a doorway so I can get out. <laughs> I'm going to set this up beforehand, although I've now got to work out which way it goes and I think it goes the other way, like that. <laughs> Not that one. This one is a pain and I don't know why. Well, we can. I'm going to take that roof off. Will that help? There we go. We're going to put this roof back on. We need this roof because we need to flame a trap it. Right. We should. I'm wondering actually if. No. I was wondering if we could take these off yet. Once this is all sorted out and intersected, it will work and you can take them off. So, I am going to flame a trap these triangles. It will probably get the roof behind, so, and the doorway. So, you will have extra repairs. Come on, go green. Right. Now it's probably, yeah, it has got that roof. We still need to do this roof as well. We also need to do these triangular pieces even though we're not double walling them because otherwise we won't get the, the alternate roofs over them, the kind of overlapping 90 degree roofs. I think I'm maybe out a bit. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Come on. It's not got the roof. Right. Just flame a trap everything. Oh, it's still not getting it. Right. Let's try moving it forward a bit. It won't go green. Why are you being the pain today? What we can do is flame a trap it from outside. I can take that roof off, that's fine.
and we want to um, flame and trap this triangle so and it should get the roof behind it yes flame and trap this triangle Right. Well, what we could do first is put these double walls in. Are you being a pain? There we go. Oh! What on earth happened there? Oh my goodness. It's being very weird today. I've never seen that before. Is it because this wall's broken? Finally! Thank you, stupid thing. Right. Anyway. There we go. If in doubt, repair the walls underneath. That's fine. Right, we need to continue these roofs, so I'm going to put this one back and then just continue over the porch area and then into the main part of the building. Like so, and as you can see, you have this groove. So I'm going to go to my camp widget and repair all. I did take a wall out there. I will put that back. And as you can see, the roof is complete. Now, we want these pieces in. Now, hopefully, these will just come straight out because they are attached to the roof, these pieces. Um, I would suggest changing them to the brick so that the trim matches the doors and window frames but you know whatever you like and then we just need to put roofs back on this side this one um, I did in fact use one of these some of these are curved but if you go to the end you will see that these ones are flat so that they match the rest and um, we need to stick a roof back on here which will go so there you have it how to do I don't actually know what the proper name for these is but an innie bit so that when it rains your roof does not break and sag I mean it won't because obviously it's a game but I do like to make things look realistic and I like this effect. Might be worth noting today I noticed that this door, which I use quite a lot, this one, I think it's the country wooden door, is in the atom shop and I think it'll be in the atom shop uh, presumably until Tuesday. It might be here for another week, I don't know. So if you've always wanted this door, it is currently available in the Atom store. So here is the house. Obviously you could build it in whatever set you like. It would look nice in the contemporary or the log cabin. It's an easy build. Obviously the roof, if you don't have the, you can just do a basic roof. I like it with this roof, so it's up to you though. I hope you like the build. I hope you like the video. So that is all from me today. Stay safe, everybody.
Thank you for watching.